Welcome to NC Transportation Now. I'm Steve Abbott, filling in for Mike Charbonneau. Unmanned aircraft systems, better known as drones, were a big hit this holiday season. NCDOT is working hard to promote safety for drones, both in the air and on the ground. There are three classifications of drone operators. Recreational, those who use drones solely for recreational use. Government, a government entity that uses drones to support their work. And commercial, any entity that uses drones for a business-related purpose. Most users fall under the recreational category. As of this January, all government and commercial operators are now required to obtain a user permit from NCDOT's Division of Aviation. Commercial and government users must do two things to get their permit, meet specific FAA requirements, and pass the North Carolina Drone Operators Knowledge Test. Operators who meet all requirements will receive a paper permit, similar to a driver's license, that they will be required to keep with them while conducting commercial or government drone operations. Full requirements, a study guide, the knowledge test, and other information about safe drone operations can be found on the Division of Aviation's website at ncdot.gov aviation. While recreational users are not required to receive a permit, they are strongly encouraged to review the study guide and take the knowledge test to better understand and drone regulations in North Carolina. NCDOT is now accepting applications from communities wanting to take part in the 2016 Watch For Me NC program. Watch For Me NC is a nationally recognized bicycle and pedestrian education, safety, and enforcement program. Communities looking to help address local pedestrian and bicycle safety are encouraged to apply by February 23rd. Those that are selected will receive free law enforcement training and technical assistance. They'll also receive safety materials to support their local efforts, like bicycle lights, reflective armbands, and bumper stickers. Each community will also be eligible to receive advertising such as billboards, transit ads, and public service announcements, all paid for by NCDOT. At the beginning of the program, drivers yielded to pedestrians in crosswalks about 50% of the time. The rate increased by 15% during the first year of the campaign where enforcement was strongest and where a community has maintained enforcement efforts for multiple years, like Carborough, the rates have risen to as much as 80 percent. To learn more, visit watchformenc.org. On Thursday, January 28th, Columbus area residents were the first in the state to experience North Carolina's new mobile DMV office. About 30 customers visited the mobile office, which carries two driver license examiner stations and mirrors the driver license services that are offered in brick and mortar offices. After leaving Columbus on Thursday, the mobile office made stops in Hayesville and Robbinsville this week before returning to Columbus. DMV plans to add three more mobile offices that'll make 70 stops through the state. The new mobile offices are part of Governor McCrory's driving change initiatives at DMV to improve services and reduce wait times. Many of us will be cheering on our home team Carolina Panthers this Super Bowl Sunday, but no matter which team you're pulling for, remember, fans don't let fans drink and drive. We're smarter than that. To make sure you get home safely, call a cab or a buddy, ride the bus, or app your ride. That's all for this edition of NC Transportation Now. As always, stay connected to us through Facebook and Twitter at NCDOT. And from all of us at the Department of Transportation, safe travels.